What's up everyone, Hobbit here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And hey, apparently there's something new for us in Saint Denis. Let's check it out. I was just trying to get to a hotel. Oh, it's a cash collection quest. Hey, sister. Brother Dorgans and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. How is Brother Dorkins? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Uh, never better. Are you sure? Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, 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 I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh, what fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. <laughs> to me, God is people and people are God, so we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead, and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms. Fish. Limosna para los pobres. Let's get him some canned food. Sure. You know what? I barely use it. You know what, sister? I think I've already got plenty of food on me. They could just eat mine. You are wonderful, Mr. Morgan. Now, that ain't true. Oh, I meant wonderful, but so very frightening. As you wish. Consider your good deed done for the day. Oh, thank you. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. Thank you, sister. Sister Ethel makes a fabulous stew. They will be so happy. Glad to hear it. Mais bonjour. Hey, what's your pleasure? You got any rooms? Mm. Okay, rooms all set. Just head upstairs when you're ready. How are you, my love? Morning. You must like living here. Are we? All the best now. Au revoir. Sitting government builders on fire? How do you do? I'm not sure what they... 
You ever played this before, Brent? Hey, partner. Thanks. All right, horse. Let's go see the mayor. We're in Saint Denis at night. The conditions have officially been met. I thought I could, I could walk around. <laughs> I couldn't. Hey, hey, let me in. <laughs> oh, it's you. I got his letter. You seem disappointed. Uh, Mr. Arthur. Sir? Education is the most wonderful thing. It'll raise us higher and higher. Make civics and ethics less a work of uh, dirty-minded pragmatists like me. And the calling of higher, better men. Hear, hear. Without it, we are savages. But with learning, why, in 50 years, man will put down his guns and start living a life of relentless purity. Hear, hear. Oh, you have no idea. But Even with education. Can be so very self-absorbed. How can I help? You can't. <laughs> okay. All I'm going to be going then. Franks. That's the point. We've gone over this. Violence is never right. I agree with you. But it's not violence. It's the mere threat of violence. Against whom? Oh. <laughs> Against Hector Fellow's worst nature. To convince him to make good on his promise to help finance the library. Who is he and where do I find him? He's a newspaper man. And he's... He's a... leaving town on a coach, heading to his country estate, because he doesn't like your heavy-handed approach. Well, <laughs> he certainly won't like my heavy-handed approach. Thank you, Mr. Arthur. You'll spot him on the road through the bayou. He has a red coach. So we are clear. I do not approve of this behavior. So we are clear. I don't care. Like, why would you think your opinion is especially important here? The mayor makes the decisions. Arthur does the actual things required. You... open doors? I mean, okay, yeah, that sounds harsh <laughs> and classist. Uh, but that's the distribution of work around here, right? Come on, the mayor is the mayor because he gets things done. You're not the mayor, for some reason, right? Like, at most, I guess you do have a ear, but not more than that, I don't think. Stop the coach! Who the heck are you? Hold it right there. You're getting an extra passenger. When I get in, you carry on. What the hell do you want? Mr. Fellows, ain't it? Charity, sir. And an appeal to your better nature. This is most impudent. Oh, no, it's not most impudent. Trust me, buddy. I can get a whole lot more impudent. But this is a good cause for a wealthy man such as yourself. The chance to add some dignity to all that wealth. Dignity? By helping to finance a library. Think of the prestige. Sir. Oh, get out of my carriage. But the mayor. The mayor? The mayor is a crook. Uh, me too. And I'm a real crook. I will not be bullied by you, sir. Get out of here. You will be bullied. You know, 
They say it's better to give than to receive. And certainly in the case of a beating, I know that's true. <laughs> Mayor, yeah. wait your check, sir. Been a pleasure. There's a good man in there. Let him live a little more. Driver, hold up. As you were. Come on. Oh, I need to return after dark again. Well, let's try it, I guess. Let me in. <laughs> Love it. Oh, Arthur, it's you. Come in. Where's what's his name? Jean-Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Uh. <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yes. Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. But please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. Listen, Mr. Arthur, I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... But what? Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How do you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Is that my business? Oh, no. No. <laughs> of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? Oh. I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Rue de Zachary. Thank you, Arthur. Farm field and falconry. Falconry. Tricon animals, farming. That's pretty cool. Yeah, sure. Seems fun. So Jean... Jean-Luc, was it? Jean-Marc? Whatever, Jean-something uh, finally gets what, what's coming to him. I thought he was uh, expressing his opinion a bit too loudly last time. Let's now it catches up to him. Let's go to his house. On the Rue des Zachary. Oh, very close as well. Useless. Oh, useful. Uh, hey, is that you? Jean Mark. Jean Mark. John. Friggin' Mark. Come on. Why you wanna go and say those awful things about me, buddy? <laughs> Best not to make a big drama of things. Come on, let's go see your boss. This is gonna hurt, but it's for the best. Without being seen, oh. Stealth kidnapping. That's interesting, actually. Of course. Thankfully, the police don't hear my whistles when I call for my horse. They do, however, stand in the most inconvenient spots. Oh, here we go. This one's leaving. Good. Let me just... Let me just... Thank you. Good girl. Not gonna ride you right now, but... Still, good girl. That's the mayor's house. Right up ahead, right? Whoa. 
Oh, <laughs> that was close. Oh, good, good. Quick, Mr. Atherton, bring him around the map. Be so stupid. No. Oh. Follow the mayor. Sure, sure. Oh, Jean Marc, Jean Marc. Jean Marc, I have missed you. I have missed you. What silly, silly man we have been. Yeah, he had a fall. He might be a little woozy. Oh, the poor boy. Jean Marc, can you hear me? Uh, where am I? Le mieux. What have you done? Oh, you had an accident, Jean Marc. Thank the Lord, our friend was there to find you. Really, I don't remember so well. Ooh, that's sounds like a little bit of brain damage. We'll look after you now. Here, right here. Okay. My brother, my brother, Jean Marc. Oh, we've been so. I promised to change. I know. Ah, uh, what a silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course. We, we will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. Exactly. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. You've not changed at all. I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You, you shame me. <laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh. How I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. But I must actually do things. I see now. You're, you're lost to reason. Yeah. And I see now that you're a horrible little wretch and a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Now, sir, I am afraid that you must kill him. Whoa. I will pay you handsomely. And Jean-Marc, I will miss you. I really shall. Kill him. It must be so. Please. You're not really going to kill me, are you? Mm -hmm. Thought I might. But uh, all I did was love too much. <laughs> love. My duty. Yeah, but you're running your I'll mouth you out of me, it. buddy. And him. He'll betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lemire's a foul rat. But I'm a man of my word. Let me live and I'll... I'll, I'll destroy him. And I'll make sure you're left well alone. Come on. Please. Please, come on. You want to show us a sad little man, would you? Uh, the mayor's orders is the mayor's orders, see? You should have stayed in line. Nothing else to say? Alright. I might be a brute, but I'm not a paid killer. I kind of am a paid killer, but... Don't mention me, boy. Do not I mention me. Word. Seriously, though, if you mention me, who? And supposedly Lemieux will be destroyed, huh? So he won't uh, hold this against me, I guess. Let's hope so. Oh, look at him run. Oh, boy. <laughs> let's go, girl. All right, let's, <laughs> let's ride along with him for a little while. And actually, let's take a break for right now, and next time when we come back, we will go do something in the north. For example, yeah, this little place, the weird, creepy place, Obadiah Hinton was the guy's name. Yeah, let's go to him next time. So, for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.